Hello, welcome back to Let's Play Lost Odyssey with me, Chugabilly. It's a flappy. Yeah, you can interact with these. It gives you items. So, yeah, there's lots of things to find. Ah, forgot about that. <laughs> lots of things to find in this game, so. And you just gotta find yourself a flappy poster, and I'll give you things. Who dropped a hundred gold pieces behind a poster? I don't know, but thank you all the same. Yeah, they can be quite hard to see, so you just end up <laughs> running up against every single wall, hugging the wall, and just hammering A. Give me your things! Oh, wow. I didn't actually think that was what I was literally doing while I said and hugging the wall. Hey, another seed! Hello! Yeah, that's that's kind of war, dude. Very rarely is there a unanimous victor. Victor. All aboard! Alright then. Good old free public transport. Paid for by the tax. As a uh, first city in the game, I'm not a huge fan of Ura. Don't like the architecture or the general vibe of the place, but we shouldn't be here too often. You're that guy, right? The soldier that can't die. I might be. The 17th Division. That was the front line. They were smack in the middle of the Wall Highlands. No one could have survived that meteor crash. But here you are, without a scratch. What is they ogles? Beg your pardon, Lieutenant. But it's really strange. The few we were able to save were far from the center of impact. And even those men were seriously injured. What exactly are you accusing me of? It's, just, it's hard to believe that anyone could have survived that inferno. Yet here Kaim is. Then <laughs> don't believe it. <laughs> I like Kaim. He doesn't have time for anyone's BS. The council won't like that attitude. Come on, tell us. How'd you make it? I ran really fast. What was with that head wobble? It was extra accent accentuated with the uh, silly hat. Yeah, when someone gets a new power source, everyone wants that power source. Look up the Cold War. <laughs> All right, Mr. Chipper. Bit of a weird place to put in a title role, but I can dig it. Yeah, here in Obosaka Gucci. There's my man.
You can think of them as the Maka reactors, I guess. But a lot less imposing. And probably won't explode. Oh man, so much to be done. Excuse me. Yeah, strange place to have the... Thirty years ago, a new power manifested itself onto the world. With its discovery came the magic industrial revolution. This power came to be called magic energy. Even now, there are none who can explain why this power, a power that merely lay buried within all living creatures, suddenly flourished as it did. Today, this magic energy permeates every corner of the world. It has changed the way people live, transformed the shape of industry, and has even altered the nature of war. Is it true the Kents have requested a truce? Indeed. We heard that enough men were committed to cover the Wall Highlands and that most of the Kent force were eliminated. This war was started by them. It's only right they withdraw. We've also lost a tremendous number of troops. After suffering such a devastating loss, if the Gotha were to strike now, there would be no way we could defend our country. And there are also whispers that Gotza was pulling strings behind the invasion. What makes you think that the Gotza were involved? We have confirmed that a large amount of military hardware has been moved from Gotza to Kent. We assume Gotza plans to use Kent to keep things stirred up and destabilize Ura. Are you saying that Strike even the, the meteor crash was a Gotzen plot? My lord, I have some disturbing information on that subject. We suspect that a situation at Grandstaff may have caused the meteor crash. Grandstaff? This is not the first time that stories about it have reached my ears. This is not confirmed, but magic energy may have leaked out of Grandstaff, interfered with something in outer space, and precipitated this disaster. Gongora! Yes, my lord. The Grandstaff falls under your jurisdiction. Can't Do trust you a dude with eyebrows like that. Nothing for the moment. Where did you get this information? Construction of Grand Staff is going smoothly. Now that the forces of Ura have suffered such devastating losses, I think we have no other way to protect our land except with the magic energy that Grand Staff will provide. We should hold off on debating the pros and cons of Grand Staff until we thoroughly review the world's current situation. What you say makes sense. But our plan to use magic energy is a double-edged sword. With all sorts of rumors flying around, we might want to halt construction of Grand Staff. What? Only temporarily. As soon as it's clear that Grand Staff had nothing to do with the meteor collision, we'll resume construction immediately, Gungora. So is it functioning but still being constructed? Hmm. I'm not sure if that's a tattoo on his arm or if it's just a sleeve, but it's cool nonetheless. <laughs> the 
hits a casualty says, Hey, did you hear? Everyone that went to the Highlands of War was annihilated. Yeah, dude, we know. People that went away aren't coming back. Families left bereaved. Cold water stone. Why is it specifically cold water? I want a warm water stone. Is that a... Did I see a shiny? I did see a shiny. Engraved ring. What do you do, engraved ring? No? Is it just a unique item? It is. A ring lost by someone. Well, that's... Uh, self explanatory. I want to see if there's any more flappy posters. Desk bang. Alright, guys, let's go. There are definitely a few recognisable voices in this game. I couldn't name any of them, but one of the members of the council sounded like generic Nord voice in Skyrim, and I definitely recognise this lady's voice. She was also one of the members of the council, the female. I say the female, I think she was the only one. Yeah, that wouldn't be cool. Oh yeah, you can still walk as well. <laughs> Sprint and walk option. That's nice. Yeah, it's... Uh, oh, wait, well, you can see the ribs on that dog. It doesn't seem too happy. There's not understanding something, and then there's meteors falling from the sky, and we don't know why. But clearly something to do with it. It's not exactly a natural occurrence, is it? Yeah, you often find that though, in war. Because I'm clearly an expert. But seriously, the disillusion between the general populace and those at war until the war comes to the city is, uh, scary. Lost and found service? I have a lost ring. Yes. I mean, what happens if I keep it? Yay, we're bettering the world already. Cool. I'm guessing that's like a remedy. Yes. Alright, uh, this one? Yeah, I've already been over here. I know it seems silly, but I'm saving all the same. Don't even judge me. Well, actually, you can't judge me. There's not much I can do about that, but still. Uh, this one. I always like myself a, uh, a good... Intercom announcement. It's good for world building. It makes the world feel a bit more lived, lived in. Like, even if these characters aren't, like, voice acted, having a voice in the background makes it just feel a bit... a bit realer. A bit more immersive. <laughs> like, all these two, like, climbs parrots, like, Wee! Come over here, Kaim. No, I'm having so much fun running in circles. Reminds me of Fable. Well, of course it is. Wait a second. Yeah. <laughs> I have no idea what that thing is, but you can kick it and it's got things inside. 
So you can see what I mean. There's lots of things to be found out in the world. Two whetstones. Ooh, lucky me. Yeah. If the, uh, the possibility of you going out and being crushed or melted alive by a giant meteor is on the on the table, then you'd probably be pretty on edge too. Cool. To be fair, it's a, it's a, it feels like a fairly lived-in world, so... Any flappies? Just that end one. More seeds. I don't think the seeds will be usable for quite some time, actually. Walk it, buddy. Ooh, a wind seal leaf. I have no idea what that is. Oh, uh, just a thing. Can we actually, uh, ring assembly? So, okay, so it shows you all things we can make. We can make a whetstone now if we wanted. But we would need six guardian ore to make it into a bruisering plus, or ultra. Damage up level one, so, yeah, slightly increases damage. Effective area is widened. Yeah, inflicts one. So, if you were to get a perfect on the ring minigame thing, uh, it would increase the amount of fire, water, wind damage done. There's other things as well. I can't remember exactly what, but... Uh, health stealing, I think that might be one as well. So if you get a perfect, then you steal more health. It's quite a cool function. <clears throat> well done. You may leave. Huh. <laughs> Up two, three, four. Lieutenant Kaya Marganar, we thank you for a job well done. I am Roxiel, chairman of the Central Council of Ura. Well, Lieutenant, it seems people are calling you the Immortal. We've heard there were almost no survivors from Ura or Kent after the meteor crashed on the highlands, and yet you appear to be unharmed even though you were presumably at the precise point of impact. Tell me, how did you survive? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, at this point you just assume he was a deserter, oh, right? Please, allow me to explain. Yeah, it's eyebrows over here. Fine. Speak. Thank you, my lord. Actually, this man is immortal thanks to my magic energy. He is under a spell of immortality that I conjured. Hmm. I wish to know more. This immortality spell. How does it work? Does it make anyone immortal? That's pretty insane, if true. I don't know. What? Are you saying that you don't know about the spell cast on you? I don't remember. I recall nothing. My lord, uh, this man has lost his memory. However, he is skilled in magic energy. So I have been studying his abilities. Then what can you tell us, Gongora? With all due respect, my lord, the spell is a curse. It is said that merely hearing it brings death near. For the safety of everyone, it is better that the spell be kept secret. How convenient. Hmm. Very well. Since I trust your studied opinion, I shall take your word that we should not know the spell. Death is determined by fate, and one cannot fight it. Except for, apparently, Gungora and Kaim. Yeah. <laughs> that dodgy Lieutenant, side eye. Since it seems that you cannot be killed, the Council would like to bestow a special mission on you. Go into the sewers and kill the rats. It's the beginning of every JRPG or RPG. <laughs> we want you to go to Grandstaff. My lord. <laughs> I 
Oh, his facial expressions are fantastic. The facial expressions in this game are fantastic. Gagora, you cannot keep this hidden any longer. Till now, construction has been left up to you. But we've lost contact with the site. It's just that... Uh... Gagora! Until we can confirm that Grand Staff Project is safe, construction shall be suspended. Yes, my lord. So now, Lieutenant Argonar. You know of Grand Staff, under construction in the Sea of Baz? I've heard that it's a magic staff. In this game, magic staff means not a weapon, but like a kind of giant power center for magic. Uh, yeah, so it's like a giant kind of building thing. Yes, it is. As you just heard, all communications with the site have been cut off for some time now. Considering the danger from magic energy leaks, we suspect that no one can investigate the possible cause, except someone immortal. I guess maybe they'd be a better analog for uh, no, macro reactors there is or someone else. Ooh. What did you say? At the Wall Highlands, another immortal. Her name is Balmor. Yes, that lady we met on the car. With hmm? the interesting haircut. Well then, this other one shall accompany you. I shall summon her. Quickly, make the arrangements. Right away, my lord. My lord, pardon me for saying this, but I'm building Grand Staff for the sake of our nation and its people. Enough. We will await Kaim's return and report. Of course, my lord. Well, this isn't going to go very smoothly, is it? <laughs> you are dismissed, Lieutenant. Gongora being hung out to dry there. Okay. Cool. Uh, so purple and blue. I forget what is what. Purple's the inn, and blue is the weapon store. No. Oh. So there was a monarchy. Now it's a council. Sounds like there was a uh, insurrection recently. Don't, don't think we quite find out how young this government is, but it's still early days for magic, it would seem. Not quite sure of how to use it or what the potential outcomes are. <laughs> I find this one. Keep an eye out for those posters. Yeah. Not now, little girl. We got a poster to rip. What are we saying? Such a good underrated feature. Being able to walk around whilst reading text, like uh, Chrono Trigger. I've got some bad news for you. <laughs> I want those things. So yeah, obviously Kaim has forgotten a lot. So not only is this like a tale of like humanity and dealing with life and death as an immortal, but self-discovery as well. 
Like, what does it mean to be immortal? And, uh... How can you make any real connections, relationships? A, a person's life in an immortal's life is just a... a blip. Ooh, found a lot of money. Oh, really? Well, that's good to know. Thank you very much. I'm going to have to turn that off because that's just annoying. Let me in. <laughs> well, at least she's being honest. Well, uh, unfortunately, I'll take quite a lot of convincing. <laughs> Zypher. Alright then. So a little bit more on the kingdom before. I mean, yes? Who knows? Aquabomb? I think that's a battle item for a water attack. was goat sir they chose some really weird names for the nations in this game I will admit that they gotta go with something a little more easier to say I remember aloof Nella <laughs> all right in the next episode I'm probably gonna explore the city a bit more maybe buy some items and take a nap see you there guys